Welcome, modern day mystics, fellow truth seekers, James and Justin, back again. And it appears that there is a religious holiday on the docket. We have the Passover being celebrated by the Jews. So we thought we'd do a reaction video to a Jewish explanation of the Passover done by the Bim Bam YouTube channel. Okay, so let's dive in. Passover Seder, or in American, Seders, come in many forms, from those filled with skits, to those lasting all night, to those rushed through in an effort to get to the food. Whatever your Seder, there are some symbols and customs you'll see most of the time. In the middle of the table, there's wine, a stack of matzah, and a cup of wine for Elijah the prophet, who's said to visit every sedel. Additionally, there's the sedel plate. It can be anything from a fancy ceramic piece imported from Israel to a makeshift number hacked together from picnic wear. On the sedel plate, a shank bone, egg, bitter herb, charoset, karpas, and a piece of lettuce. Each thing symbolizes a different aspect of Passover. Also, everyone has a Haggadah, the book, or printouts, that guides you through the Seder. There are tons of different Haggadahs, minimal and elaborate, you can get them in Hebrew, English, or both, with any kind of commentary you like, from feminist to environmental to acidic to political. There are versions for kids, for interfaith groups, and for activists. And of course, people remix the tradition every which way to make it their own. Seder literally translates to order, so let's talk about that. There's a few traditions to start. Blessing the wine, washing your hands, dipping veggies into salt water, and then breaking the middle matzah. Half of it, called the afikoman, gets hidden surreptitiously. Then comes the main event, the telling of the exodus from Egypt. Or more accurately, the main event is an interactive reading of rabbinical discussions about how to remember the exodus. When the seda was put together, the rabbis assumed everyone going in knew the story. So it was silly to just retell it. Instead, they went deeper, and in doing so, created a holiday that is about memory. How do people, today, relate to these themes of liberation and redemption? At many seders, people go around the table and read a paragraph each from the Agadah. People add songs and discussions about what happened back then and about parallels with today's world. Seders around the world may include diverse traditions like hitting your neighbor with green onions, pouring water on the floor, or pulling out a bag of plushy plates. And overachievers hold all night seders. One famous part of the seder is the four questions where the youngest child at the table asks, Ma nishtana? If you are the youngest child, you can practice here. Learning songs is a great way to prep for the seder. If you have to pick one, make it the chorus to Dayenu. It's one word, and you can learn it here. After the storytelling piece, there's a few more customs. More hand washing, eating matzah, then marol, something bitter like horseradish, then a matzah maror sandwich, and then dinner. If you're at a Sephardi Seder, there might be kitniot included. People's strenuousness about keeping kosher for Passover varies widely. For instance, some folks won't eat anything made with wet matzah, including the Passover staple, matzah balls. After the main meal and dessert, there's the search for the afikoman. Whoever finds it gets a prize, and everyone else gets the ability to finish the meal with a tiny piece of matzah. Mmm. Now, just being honest, a lot of sedels peter out here with tired kids and matzah kugel-induced food comas. But at a full sedel, you continue with birkat amazon, the grace after meals, followed by opening the door for Elijah, a special set of songs of praise called Halel, more wine, and the famous closeout, Next Year in Jerusalem. Then, two popular bonus songs are Echad Mi Odea and Chad Gadia. If you want to learn those, click over there. Haven't had enough of sedel yet? Lucky you! Outside of Israel, traditional Jews celebrate two nights of sedels, and there are lots of other variations out there. It's a quirky holiday. Chag kasher v'sameach. Happy Passover. If you liked this intro, we hope you subscribe to get <laughs> notified when more videos on Passover, other holidays, and all sorts of other Jewish subjects are released. I liked it. It looked like a lot of fun. Man, the person that made this, talk about an editing flex. It was yeah. edited so well. I was like, whoa! She did that effect where she was like holding the books and then they like came into the screen. Yeah, it's yeah. Like, well done. Yeah. Good jo good job. Uh, looked like a very fun, interesting holiday. Um, mm -hmm. Yep. A uh, couple of things that were in, like I, I, I noted there is like one, uh, interesting that they had that uh, that thing that they hid. 
Um, and it reminded me of how, like, uh, in other face, they, like, at Easter, they hide Easter eggs, right? Oh, yeah. There's like so a, many a, similarities. Yeah, like a bit of a, a hunt there. And then another thing that I found kind of interesting is that it's like a religious holiday that has uh, wine involved. And, I, and it's interesting because they take it serious and then they, like, break out, like, like, reading texts and they do that all with, like, alcohol as a thing going on there. I wonder if that ever leads to any interesting family drama. It looks like drama. it actually looks like I bet you a lot of people have fun. For yeah. some families, it's probably a challenge, all that hardcore orderly <laughs> yeah, stuff. Yeah, yeah. But I bet you the order actually helps keep things in check somewhat. Like, yeah. We don't have time to argue. We actually got to get back to singing and doing this thing. It looks pretty great. Yeah, yeah, okay? yeah. Um, now, with all reverence here, with complete respect to this, I just had this thought like maybe next – thing i'm gonna leave a cup out for jacob was yeah, it jacob he, that or they left elijah it? I, elijah maybe i'll leave a cup out for elijah yeah you know uh, incorporate that because i just dawned on what we're doing here yeah. this is kind of like learning how to be religiously multilingual school yeah you know yeah. if you tune into the show man it just dawned on me like maybe you could think of it that way because we sometimes we do videos that you like You'd be yeah. like, oh, I really like when they do Hindu videos, or I really yeah. like when they do Christian videos, or whatever, or or uh, Islam videos. Yeah. But think of it this way: you are picking up an ability to be multi-religiously lingual. Yeah. You know, when you pick up all these terms, you're more versed in an ever unifying world. Yeah. Where yeah, more yeah. and more you're going to be working with people of different cultures, and this should be a help to that. So. This video is well done. I hope we react to more Bim Bam. We've done we've we've, we've done, done we've done it before. Yeah, um, and it's hard to not talk about like the Exodus story, uh, something that even in a growing up as like in a Christian church, we were taught the the story of Moses many times, and it's funny because at Easter time, you had mentioned this before we even did this video. Every like on Sunday. They would always show the Ten Commandments on yeah. TV. And as a family, every year religiously, we would gather around and watch the Ten Commandments. Which is, I found so strange seeing, I thought we would be watching the story of Jesus yeah. or something like that. But it wasn't on TV. But it, the Ten Commandments, it would, like we would sit for the long haul. Because it was like, it's a four hour movie with commercials. It's six hours. It's over at midnight. So it was like, we're staying up all night. You yeah. know, we're staying up all Sunday to watch the Ten Commandments. I kind of miss it. Because that was such an epic movie too. But I remember yeah. at Easter, I was saying like, whatever happened to that? When I was a kid, at Easter, you watched the Ten Commandments. Yeah. You you chased bunny eggs. Yeah. You went to church to learn about Jesus. And then you watched the Ten Commandments. Yeah, you'd gorge on chocolate bunny and be sick by Such the end of the Ten mishmash. Commandments. <laughs> yeah. uh, but it, it, it was uh, really cool. A lot of good, good memories there. Good video. Yeah. Hopefully, you guys liked our reaction. Uh, let us know if you want to see more from Bim Bam. And hit the like button, share this with a friend, subscribe, and everyone until next time, stay, stay spiritual. spiritual.